Hello YouTube, this is Alston, and today I wanted to quickly show you how you can find almost unlimited amount of web design clients in less than 10 minutes. Uh, now before we get going, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe if this video or any of my other videos have helped you out. Also comment below and let me know if this method has worked for you, um, or if you know of an even faster and better method. Um, with this method, the only things that you need um, in this method is is basically completely free. The only thing that you need with this method is an internet connection. It can be a mobile phone, um, it can be a laptop, it can be a, a desktop, tablet, whatever. And you need a library card. Now the only caveat to this is you must be in the United States. Uh, this method probably will not work um, if you live outside of the United States. Um, but for the most part, if you live in the United States, this method should work for you for completely free or less than $5. Uh, to show you that this method can work as fast as, we'll say, eight minutes, um, I'm going to start the stopwatch when I am ready to begin. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to start the stopwatch now, and then I'll show you what to do. Uh, all right, so the stopwatch is going. The first thing that I am going to do is I am going to go to the Kenosha Public Library. Whoops. Then, um, once I enter the Kenosha Public Library, um, Kenosha is where I live. Uh, for me, the library card is free. For you, it's probably going to be $1. Um, I'm sure if you live in a, a higher cost of living area, it might be a little bit more. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on online databases. Then um, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the third um, the third page here and then I'm going to click on Reference USA. Now Reference USA is a free online database that gives you access to every single business in the United States. Um, next I am going to enter in my library card. Of course I'm going to block that out. Uh, so once I enter that in I'm going to click log in and now I have access to over Oh, it says 54 million businesses. Now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to click search. Then uh, you have a number of options. You can enter in the company name if you wanted to. So if you wanted to target everyone that worked at Burger King, you could click on Burger King. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click advanced search. Um, now this this method is useful if you are looking to target uh, businesses in, a, in, a, in your local area. For example, let's say I want to target everyone that lives in Lake County, Illinois. Um, actually, let's do Cook County. Cook County is the um, is the county for Chicago. So I'm going to click on Cook County. I'm going to select my state, which is Illinois. Then I'm going to find Cook County. See, this is a list of all of the counties um, in Illinois. As you can see, there's a record of 15 million currently. But once I click on Cook County, um, click Update Count, and that'll reduce it to all of the businesses that are in uh, Cook County. So I'm going to click on view results. Once I click on view results, it is going to give me a list of every single business in Cook County. Uh, but that's going to be too many to, to count. Uh, not too many to count, but too many to target. So the next thing that you want to do is you click on charts. And then once you click on charts, obviously take you to a new page. And this is where you can target by business type. So if you scroll all the way down, and now you have a list of individual businesses. You could click on physicians, restaurants, attorneys, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to click on restaurants. Now, once you click on restaurants, you get a list of all of the restaurants that are in Cook County, which includes Chicago, Illinois. Now, you, you, I'm sure you're asking, where, how does this help you? Your next step is you want to check this box to select all of the um, all of the companies. Now, please note that you can only select up to 225 rows per search. So, because there are 9,000 results, you'll have to go in there a couple times and then um, you'll have to manually compile the results, but that's just a simple copy and paste. Um, so, if we continue on, I have about 125 records. Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering how does that help you now? The next thing, step you're going to do is you're going to click download. 
All right, so now that you click download, it's going to make sure that you are not a bot. I am not a bot. And then, even better, um, it gives you some, some options. What you want to do is you want to download the detailed. Um, the detail, you'll see in a second why detailed is important, but here, now that you've got the comma uh, delimited, uh, you could actually do Excel, but I like the comma, um, the comma delimited option. You can either email this to yourself or you can download the records. I am going to download the record. Now, once this record downloads and it has already done that, I am going to open. And here are, here is my list of businesses. Now this list gives you the company name, the owner or the executive. Um, it gives you the address, it gives you city, state, zip code, all of that good stuff. It gives you the neighborhood. Um, now here is the, the bonus. If you look here under websites, and I'm going to make this a little bigger, websites, you can sort and filter by the website. So I'm going to highlight all of this. And then if I go to, uh, let's go here, custom sort, um, sort by, let's sort by website and we'll click okay. So now it's sorted by every business and their website. So if you want to target customers that already have a website, you can basically just copy and paste this into a separate web browser and you can check their website. If their website's not very good, you can update it. Or even better, what you can do is you can scroll down to the people that do not have websites and you can target them. So from here, um, you can create your business plan and you can decide um, who to target. Let's see where we're at on time. Um, we are at five minutes and 37 seconds, but let's go back over to um, our list here. So really we've got a list of possible potential clients uh, in less than five minutes. We'll say five minutes and 15 seconds, but wait, there is more. So if we scroll back up, um, here are all of the different pieces of information that are that, that's entered into this database. So you get the website, um, you can, get let's scroll over a little bit more um, this is all very useful important information you can tell the services that they provide but what I am looking for um, I am looking for this piece of information here if you want to know if you want to get an idea of how much to charge you can see their actual sales volume so if you want to pitch based on, on what they make or pitch based on, on their business, um, you may want to offer this person that, or this business that makes a million per year, you may want to offer them a website that starts at $1,000 versus someone that makes less than 500, you may, may want to offer them a website at $800. But it's up to you, obviously. Um, the only thing that this this list does not have is email addresses. That's a separate list and that list is not free. But here's the beauty of this website uh, of this Excel spreadsheet. You know the business name, you know the owner name, you know the phone number, you know how to contact them, you know if they have a website or not, all without leaving your home. So you can do the other marketing steps if you're into building a website beforehand and then showing them. If you want to target them, let's say you want to send out um, some pieces of marketing to them, you can do that. Um, but this gives you all the information you need. If you scroll over more, um, it gives you hours of operation. So if you wanted to add that information into the website you built for them, you can. Um, if we scroll over even further, you can see there the amount of money they spend on computer expenses. Now again, this can help you modify your sales pitch. If they're spending less than $500 on computer expenses, they may not be willing to spend $5,000 on a website. However, if this person is already spending $1,000 um, on computer expenses, they might be willing to spend $800, $900, $1,000 on a website. Uh, so that information is helpful and it's all free. This is uh, not a secret. You just need to get access to the database called Reference USA. Um, and then the final thing I wanted to show you is a Twitter. You can get, you can see if they have social media accounts. Um, that might be an, an add-on feature that you can sell. Uh, if they don't have uh, social media, you can set that up for them. So these companies have Twitter, everything that's blank, blank does not. 
Uh, same with Facebook. Um, Facebook actually might be a great way to, to, to market at these people. Um, for example, let's sort by Facebook. Uh, custom sort. Let's change that to Facebook. Where are we at here? Facebook. I'll click OK. So we know everyone at the top has Facebook, but let's scroll over and see who does not have a website. So these people have Facebook, but not a website. You might want to reach out to these people and say, hey, Facebook is great, but website is better uh, because it's yours. But again, you can do this with any of the businesses that are located um, and you can do this anywhere. If you wanted to target major cities like LA, New York, Chicago, you can do that. If you want to target your hometown, you can do that as well. Um, again, the database is Reference USA, um, and it's completely free free database. You just need to access it through your local library. And I actually stumbled across uh, upon this when I was creating a list directory website, uh, Learn. Kenosha.com. Um, I didn't want to go through like the yellow pages and copy and paste. Why didn't that work? Oh well. Um, I didn't want to go through the yellow pages and copy and paste, so I ran over to to my local library and said, "Hey, is there a way for me to get an access to all of the the businesses that are in uh, in my county?" And they said, "You can have the entire United States." So. Um, Reference USA, if you are looking to start or build upon your web design business, um, make sure you take advantage of this database. It's a free database as long as you live in the United States. The only thing you need to possibly buy is the library card. Um, most libra local libraries have free library cards. You might need to pay a dollar to get yours replaced. Uh, once again, very easy. It took me less than five minutes to get a list of 150 potential clients and it's been 10 minutes in total um, so I've talked for 10 minutes and brought you great value in five so um, if this video has helped you at all or if any of my other videos have helped you at all make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button um, so I can keep bringing you great content also as I mentioned if you have a question if you have a comment you know of a better faster way uh, definitely leave that in the comments as well, um, and I'll check it out. So once again, this is Alston, and thanks for watching.